we are attending the International Energy Agency People Center uh, Energy Transition Summit. And we are here because we want to express how important it is to take an inclusive approach to energy transition planning and policies. The energy transition that we need to promote in order to fight climate change can also reinforce these inequalities, especially in energy and mining producing countries. But it doesn't need to be like that. One, government, companies, and the international community need to ensure that those who are going to be affected by this transition are compensated. That these countries and regions that are going to be impacted by fossil fuel phase out have the possibility to look for a diversified economy, a new alternative for women, youth, and communities. But also that they are responsible exiting principles that are followed to avoid social environmental liabilities left behind. Second, government, companies, and the international community should also make sure that benefits are going to be shared, that different people is able to access to jobs, to new um, technologies, and to the opportunities that this energy transition will bring. And finally, and very important, and that's our main message in this space here, we need to make sure that vulnerable communities and all citizens have a place at the table when and where decisions are discussed and made about energy transition plans and policies. That means that this process of planning that are happening around the many countries um, that produce fossil fuels and minerals in the world need to include people.